If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a super quick deck tech for you, much faster than I normally do because I am running out of time. This is a Blue Black or Demir Horrors deck from Modern. Now. There are a number of horrors builds that you could have, and this is just going to be one of at least three that I'll come up with for the channel. For right now, suffice to say that this is a mid-range deck that doesn't get too much from the horror synergy itself, because unfortunately right now in Modern, there aren't a lot of horror synergy, well, there aren't any horror synergies beyond the staples. Cavern of Souls, Adaptive Automaton, so I should clarify, I should preface this by saying that if you aren't going to run uh, Cavern of Souls or Adaptive Automaton in a horror list, then frankly you should just run good stuff for your colors, whatever those may be. That being the case, I think that the horrors are super strong in modern right now. We didn't get as much from Eldritch Moon, at least not that I could see, in this particular color combination for this particular strategy of deck, but we'll get to some of that later. For right now, we're going to start off, there are four ofs unless I say otherwise, we have four Phyrexian Obliterator, because Phyrexia Obliterate! Getting back to my old uh, Yu-Gi-Oh days. Yeah, so Phyrexian Obliterator is super, super good, but it has a cost of black, 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 black. Now in modern, that means it's, uh, it being a 5-5 means that it is immune to Bolt, but its two big weaknesses are Path to Exile and Dismember, two pretty commonly played cards in the format right now. However, as far as creatures go, this just runs over everything. It does have trample, and if they deal damage to it, for whatever reason, if your opponent, well, whenever a source deals damage, that source's controller sacrifices that many permanents. So if they wanted to bolt it, double bolt means they sacrifice six permanents. This thing is a baby Eldrazi. It has Annihilator 6, effectively, against two lightning bolts. All right, so in other words, we want to be able to play something super good like this. It's way above curve, but black, 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 black is part of the cost. So every land sans one in this deck will also produce black mana for the purpose of Obliterator. But it is a black-blue deck. We also run Phyrexian Rager. Yeah, you know this thing from Popper or from back in Limited. It's just a 3-mana 2-2. When it enters, you draw a card and lose one life. This gives us tempo. A 2-2 kills an awful lot in the format. Uh, but really all that this is, is it's just a little bit of tempo. This helps to keep us in the game, give us some velocity, some acceleration, and, you know, powers through the game. Uh, also, it just, we are playing a little bit of a, a con not a control deck, but it has control elements in it, and so this will help us to find those to clear out our opponent's creatures, and then we can just swing through, even with just a Rager or something as such. Next, we have Phyrexian Revoker, because this deck hates Liliana the Veil. It... This just is a generally good hate bear. It's a horror, believe it or not. It works with any of our colors, or either of our colors, rather. And yeah, it just fights generic hate, fights scavenging ooze, fights planeswalkers in general. Uh, every now and then you can use it to fight certain combos. Uh, you get the idea. It's just all around good hate. It's a four of. Now we get into the ones that aren't four ofs. We have three spell skite. Doesn't actually win us the game barring some shenanigans, but it does stall the game. It's great hate against decks that we do kind of worry about, like Bogles and Infect. This gives us the ability to have game against them in the main board. It also helps to protect our Obliterator and our Revoker uh, from Path to Exile, or in the case of Revoker, Lightning Bolt. Helps to stop, uh, you know, Dismember. You get the idea. Uh, we only run two Thing of the Ice, and another version of this deck I'll show you later runs four. But because we aren't running as many instants and sorceries, this isn't as good. That being the case, we still run enough, it can actually transform. And it is a 0-4 for 2, so this does actually stall. Uh, that's why it's worth playing even so. Just even if it's only a 2 of, it stops Goblin Guide, it stops Wild Nacodle, it stops so on and so forth. You get the idea. This just gives us something, another wall in the early game to help get set up. We run 4 Dismembers. We are on color for it, obviously you don't need to be, but we are, so might as well take advantage of it. This is essentially just a generic removal slot. You can run Smother, you can run Doomblade, you can run Go for the Throat, whatever. I'm running Dismember uh, because it's able to be played on turn one, and it's so good against so many decks. 
Um, again, one of the worst matchups for this is something that's very low to... I say one of the worst matchups. Generally speaking, a bad match for us is something that's very low to the ground. If they stick the Glycerin Elf, the Blighted Agent, the Wild Nicotl, if they stick something low like that, we need to be able to take them out. Uh, the, next we have Mana Leak. Again, this is sort of a generic counterspell slot. You can make it more kill spells, you can make Dismember more counterspells. I would go half and half. You can run this as Spell Snare, Spell Pierce, you can run Remand, although we don't take as much advantage of the tempo as some decks do, so I think Mana Leak is probably better. Often this is just straight up counterspell, because this is modern, it's low to the ground enough, paying three can be pretty hard, except this one actually has the one colorless in the cost, so maybe it's better? Sometimes this just feels better, and for a deck like ours, we take advantage of that. Next, for some uh, early game plays, we have Serum Visions. Just let us draw a card, easy enough, sort of speaks for itself. We have Thought Seize. Target player reveals a card in their hand. Uh, so we would be losing two life, but that's okay. We need something to fight combos, otherwise we only have the Mana Leak. And thanks to cards like Spell Sky, Thing in the Ice, we actually can sort of stay alive regardless, like, we play this against a burn deck, it's okay, you're sticking cards that help you against the burn deck, hopefully. Uh, so, we run Thoughtseize instead of Inquo, feel free to disagree, especially if, for example, you find there's too much life lost from Phyrexian Rager, or your Fetch Shocks just aren't working for you, you can switch it out for an Inquisition. I'm running a 1 of Liliana of the Veil, vale. this is not the kind of deck that can take super good advantage of Liliana, unfortunately. We don't do a lot of graveyard shenanigans, so we can't make the plus asymmetrical effectively, so it is just hand disadvantage. She's great removal though, she's repeatable removal, this gives us something to do against Bogles, that being the case, not more than one, not at least in this list. I am running 23 lands. If you want to run fewer lands, you can start adding Tasker is not a horror, but he fits the colors and gives you some something to do in the later game. Gives you something to do with your graveyard. You could run more Lilianas if you happen to have them. Uh, you could also just add another spell sky, add another thing in the ice, especially if you're adding more instants and sorceries. Right now we only run 16. Getaxian Probe might work in this deck. Gives you something else to do with thing in the ice, gives you up the ability to play around your opponent's removal. Now for our land base, really quickly, I'm gonna go through this. We have four creeping tar pits, does come in tapped, but gives us another creature to work with. It's the Planeswalker Killer, I like to think of it as being. 3-2, can't be blocked. Turns into a creature for a relatively small amount of mana. Uh, we do have, on the other side, we have Dark Slick Shores. Uh, this one is our fast land for our colors. Just gives us the ability to play an early, you know, Serum Visions, Thought Seas. Just hold up Dismember, whatever the case we need to do early in the game. Uh, we do have, uh, as you'd expect, we have uh, four Polluted Delta. We have four Watery Graves. Just give us our colors. And I did mention earlier something that you may want to play if you're running a tribal strategy, just in general. It doesn't work for every tribal strategy, but I think that it works wonders in this, and this is why we're running horrors, even though we're not really getting any synergies beyond just, you know, good stuff. We're running four Cavern of Souls. Very simply, just makes our horrors uncounterable, and all of these babies are horrors. Sounds pretty good by me. Like fighting the control decks, since there are more control decks in the format now that Ancestral Vision is unbanned, now the Sword of the Meek is unbanned, we're seeing the format slow down a good bit, and we're seeing more control decks as a result. This gives us something that we can do against them. And then for the rest, I just have, you know, two islands and a swamp. You could go the other way and make it two swamps and an island, I don't blame you if you do that. The deck generally looks like it uses black mana a little bit more than it does, I actually, now that I think about it, this was supposed to be two swamps and an island. That's right, my, my apologies. We'll take our penis land and throw it away. And this is supposed to be two swamps and an island. We need black mana more, uh, now that I think about it, because of Phyrexian Obliterator. Sorry, it just has to be that. So, only one island. Sometimes we need to fetch an island against the burn deck, for instance. We just absolutely don't really have much of a choice. For the sideboard, you can, you're basically just playing a black, blue, good stuff deck. So you play in your sideboard good stuff for those colors. Uh, for instance, I very much like putting in Inquisition of Kozilek to fight the uh, to fight the combo decks, gives us something to play against them. Yeah, they have Leyline, and if you're really worried about Leyline, you can put in something like, say, Rotting Rats, for instance. Uh, if you don't have Liliana the Veil, there is a budget choice, I think it's called Necrogen Mist, three mana. During, your, during each player's upkeep, they discard a card. I'm not exactly sure how it's worded. Basically, it's another symmetrical discard effect. It helps you to fight combo through Leyline of Sanctity, actually. 
Uh, I run Dispel, I like Spell Snare. I put in Spell Snare when I'm on the draw, so that I can counter their 2-drop. I'm not doing much on my first turn anyway, uh, so you need to counter the Goyf, the Scoos, whatever the case may be. This gives you something to do that with. Uh, and then other sideboard cards, Hercules Recall, because we're in the two colors that don't really have much to do against artifacts. Hercules Recall is not you just win the game against artifacts like a lot of cards are, but it does help us to establish a board. It does very little against us, although it should be noted it does bounce our Revoker, it does bounce our Spell Sky. Uh, so if you have those out, Hercules Recall, uh, actually, now that I think about that, does that return all or just all controlled by one player? I need to look that up, don't I? I'm sorry, it's on the screen. I am hurrying through this, so I am actually done. If you want to see a deck like this, if you want to see any of your decks uh, featured on the channel, then a guaranteed way to do that is to go onto Patreon and submit, and I'll do it for uh, an entire deck list. Or if you want to have a deck based around a certain card, I can do that for you as well. That being the case, I have to go now, so I will see you later, Magic Community on YouTube. Take care. Bye-bye.